industrial design is kind of an old term that, that really applies to industrially manufactured products, but then again that can apply to anything. Um, and you can also question what is industry? I mean, industry is not necessarily a big factory with a chimney on top somewhere that spews out chairs or toys. Um, industry is also a village where everybody's making pots by hand. This exhibition is well, the second year that we've come to Milan with the Royal College and it's, it's the whole design pro products department and we're showing work from second year students and last year's graduates and then in addition to that we also show the design products collection which is a commercialized collection of products that we selected. Yeah, of course, I think the work's very exciting, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't have to show it here. Um, but there's definitely um, a very, very broad range of interests, from, say, um, a renewed interest in the handmade and the craft, to looking at very advanced technologies, but also looking at technology in a kind of craft kind of way, and um, people are really exploiting and using technology. I think my influence has been um, a real encouragement towards experimentation, but also engaging with, say, social, environmental issues in design, um, and very much opening up the whole um, studio atmosphere towards debate as well, and starting to understand what the meaning of design can be in our world today. I think the challenge of design education today is, is really to, to be very honest with people. Because yeah, we, we can teach somebody or train them how to design something, but not why to design something. That I think needs to, on one hand, very much come out of the person themselves, that they're really individually kind of explore their own interests, but also find their own position in the world today. And whether that's, say, within industry or as independent designer maker, um, it, it, it varies and there's, there's no one formula that applies to everybody. I think the biggest challenge is to become as individualistic as possible with the whole approach to education, which we see as a way of bridging a gap between uh, very advanced new ideas and thinking in design and say commercial reality. Sometimes these ideas are a little bit too early for mainstream manufacturers to take on. So that's why we created this new platform to again help support our graduates. Some, some good measures that I try and keep in mind is, is like, is, is this a, a product that we really want? Or are we just producing more junk that actually nobody wants? Uh, do we really improve somebody's life by these things? And can, can we make this with as, as little material as possible, as, as little polluting as possible, um, and as long lasting as possible?